On a sweltering summer day, a frozen treat hits the spot. Eating an ice lolly, cone or chalk ice, though, requires a certain choreography. You have to hold the stick delicately yet firmly, lean forward to dodge the drips, then lick like crazy before it all melts and lands at your feet. The outer shell of these ice cream filled lollies starts with a transparent base made of water, liquid sugar, corn syrup, citric acid and a stabilizer. It all travels to three separate compartment vats, each of which mixes in a different colouring and flavouring. This company produces three flavours, strawberry, orange and blue raspberry. Each compartment vat pumps its flavour to a machine called the filling hopper. The hopper injects the liquid into row upon row of 60 milliliter lolly shaped moulds. This production line has 340 moulds in continuous motion. The moulds descend into a tank of brine, water chilled to minus 35 degrees Celsius, mixed with calcium. Calcium works like antifreeze, keeping the water liquid despite the below freezing temperature. As the moulds travel through the ice-cold brine, the liquid freezes from the outside inward, creating a shell that will encase the lolly's ice cream filling. Once the shell is 3 mm thick, a machine called a suction evacuator removes the unfrozen liquid and feeds it back into the filling hopper to be re-injected at the start of the line. The shells are now empty and ready for filling. The ice cream filling is made of milk products blended with liquid cane sugar, corn syrup, stabilizers and emulsifiers to puff up the consistency. The factory pasteurizes the mixture, heating it for 35 seconds at 80 degrees Celsius, then freezing it. Then it homogenizes the filling skimming off the milk fat that rises to the surface. The shells are still floating in the brine as they reach the filling station. The machine shoots in the ice cream, overfilling the shell to create a one centimeter cap. The ice cream begins to harden in the cold brine. Once it reaches a semi-frozen state, a machine appropriately called the stick inserter places a wooden stick into each mould. Now the moulds leave the brine and enter a tank of warm water, 24 degrees Celsius, hot enough to detach the lollies from the moulds without melting them in the process. From initial injection to final extraction, it's been just seven minutes. The machine now dips the lollies in cold water to produce a protective coating of ice. This will keep the surface from sticking to the wrapper. It will also lengthen the product's shelf life. The machine deposits the lolly into a continuous stream of paper wrapping. Heating elements seal the wrapper on the top and in between. Then a slicer cuts them apart. The empty moulds go through an automatic wash and rinse cycle on their way back to the start of the line. These moulds are for making chocolate fudge bars. The production process is the same, except that the shell is fudge flavoured, made from milk solids and chocolate powder. And instead of ice cream in the centre, there's a chewy chocolate syrup. The factory stamps the packaging for all its frozen treats with the production date and other information. These frozen treats have a one year shelf life in the freezer, but somehow we think the kids may not wait that long.